Okay, for, to, for today's lesson, we're going to look at a concept in electricity that we refer to as internal resistance. Now, by, by nature, we know that resistance has to, has to do with, you know, the um, opposition to the flow of charge. Now, internal resistance has to do with any component that any electrical component will have an internal resistance and what we mean by internal re resistance it means that no matter what the the component is whether it be a capacitor whether it be a battery there's going to be some form of internal resistance and all it simply means is that based on the material that makes up uh take for example a battery that that material that makes up the battery is going to resist the flow of of charge to some degree and we have to take that into consideration so for this lesson we're going to look at problems involving um, terminal potential and external load as well as we want to give uh, given that um, uh, uh, EMF possesses an internal resist resistance, right? So let's take for example that we have a battery right here. Now we're seeing that this EMF will have an internal resistance. So pretty much we would include the symbol for a resistor right here, which will simply tell me that there is a resistance inside of this battery so where you see these broken lines right here that i'm kind of like highlighting now that would pretty much represent the battery and inside of that battery there is a resistance quite often let's get the battery so you go to the supermarket and you buy a battery and it sells 12 volts all right now each battery let me see if i can draw a battery right here Just imagine that this is my battery. I have a positive and a negative. Now, if you were to actually measure the voltage across the battery, you would, I mean, when I said measure the voltage across the battery, if you were supposed to connect a voltmeter right here and connect um, one to the negative terminal, you realize that this voltage is going to be less than, going to be less than, um, less than 12 all right and that is just simply because of the internal resistance inside of the battery so the resistor that is inside of the battery is going to use up some of the the, the voltage that originally um, was supplied to the battery so to speak right so when you measure the voltage at this terminal and at this terminal we call that the terminal potential difference and we say that that's going to be a different it's going to be a slightly smaller it's going to be less than what the rating of the the the, the, the battery has so to speak all right so if you go ahead and you read through this information right here you you would understand that once current is passing through a power source for example a battery right there's going to be some amount of resistance and because the resistance takes place inside we call it internal resistance so here's what it is saying it says that a fraction of the EMF is needed to overcome this internal resistance so if we're using some of the EMF that is coming from the cell right to overcome the internal resistance then it simply means that when i measure the voltage here and here i'm going to get less all right and it says this so let's see what we're at now okay so we talked about the fraction already that is um, a fraction of the emf that is used to overcome that all right now 
if I ever want to con to find out what the the, the actual um, potential drop across the internal resistor is, I would simply use Ohm's law, right? So Ohm's law, of course, can be written as this to say that um, uh, voltage, and this is the voltage across the across the um, across the internal resistance. Is equal to the current I times small r. So if I ever knew what value the resistance is, and I know what's the current that is flowing through the circuit, I can simply understand how to find the voltage that is across the internal resistor. All right. Now it says. For the circuit above, they're talking about the circuit, across the external um, resistor, there is a voltage V, and this V is equal to the terminal voltage. So let's imagine that I have an external resistor right here. What we're saying is that whatsoever voltage is at the terminal, and we said this is the terminal, or we can call right here the terminal and this is another terminal whatsoever the voltage is at this terminal it's going to be the same voltage going through this particular resistor okay so that's the voltage there and it says that this is less than the emf right by the amount i r by by the amount i r so it is less than the um so, so this v that we're here is actually uh the emf minus that ir that uh that that we had to consider that the, this this voltage that the internal resistor had had used up in order for us to find the terminal voltage terminal voltage We had to subtract the EMF minus that from the internal resistor, the voltage or the potential different resistor would tell me the terminal voltage. So, so what when, when when we look back at the battery, right, right, this voltage that we're we're measuring by the voltmeter at, at the terminal is as is simply us taking away the EMF minus the inter the potential difference across the internal resistors all right we have to understand that whenever because let's imagine that this the, the battery right let me just see if i can redraw it let's imagine that the the, the battery or the cell is connected in series So this thing right and this entire thing right here, I just redrew this circuit or whatever, the one that was above here. Alright. So we know that we have an EMF. EMF. That, that's pretty much the prince that the entire battery has. And we know that this um, internal resistor IR is gonna have some some um some voltage so to speak. Now by way of looking at circuits in series. All of this is in series with each other okay so it means that there's only going to be the same current flowing through we know that already and whenever you have series circuit series circuits we know that the uh, the, the potential difference or the voltage is divided right so for series circuit voltage is divided so because the voltage is divided it means that uh, there's going to be a voltage drop across this resistor 
and there's going to be a, a voltage drop across this so what we're really saying is that our emf is actually equal to the sum of the voltage at this resistor we're going to call it r big r so that's that's the the voltage at that resistor plus the voltage that the uh the voltage that um the internal resistor actually has as well and that is basically i times r so this is just coming from the fact that whatsoever voltage you started out with let's imagine that our emf has a value of say 10 when we sum up the voltage across this resistor and the voltage across the internal resistor it must come back up to 10 because we have to look at the fact that um, energy cannot be created nor destroyed and it has to come you know this pretty much speaks to the conservation of of energy right so whatsoever you start out with right at the end of the day everything should balance back out so with that being said we can look at a problem that speaks to uh, a cell um, has an internal resistance of um, 0.3 ohms it's inter it's it's terminal um, voltage is uh, 1.48 when a current of 0.2 amps is being drawn from it it says what is the emf all right so clearly we when we talk about terminal voltage it's the voltage that is at the end of the battery right here so if we scroll up back a little bit right here would be your terminal voltage so that's what they're that, what that's what they're talking about so they gave us that value already which is and let's call that value v based on this equation so if we're saying emf is equal to v plus i times small r so when we're talking about internal resistance by the way we use small r to represent that so just remember that as well now with that being said, we can now try to find the overall EMF. And how we're going to do this is by adding the 1.48 volts plus uh, the product of current and the resistance. Let me see if we got, yes, we got the resistance, we have the current as well. So that is going to be 0 0.2 amps multiplied by um by the resistance which is 0 0.3 and when we do all of this one point let me just do the bracket first so this is 0 0.06 and this is still adding by adding to the one point um Four eight. We'll do all of the mathematics now. We realize that our EMF really we have an EMF of one point five six one point five four rather one point five four volts. So this is just telling me that my overall battery, right? Our cell, I must say, um, has a has a 1.54 um, voltage. All right. Yes. So that completes that. Now, if we were to look at another problem, it says that a high resistance voltmeter reads 13 volts when it is connected across the terminal of the battery the voltmeter reading dropped to 12 volts when the battery um, delivers a current of 3 amps to a lamp it says state the emf of the battery and also it says that calculate the potential difference 
across the internal resistance or in other words we call that the lost voltage when the battery is connected to the lamp and it says calculate the internal resistance of this of the battery so firstly before the battery is connected to to a cell or to not let me correct myself before the battery is connected to an entire circuit right it's going to give us a value of 13 volts so from there we can say that our emf is equal to 13 volts but as soon as we realize that the terminal um voltage rather the terminal um voltage becomes 12 so that's a reading across the voltmeter when it delivered a current of um, 3 amps so if we're supposed to draw a circuit right we have some lamp right here and we're measuring that voltage across it now we're saying that as soon as we connect this in the circuit we now have a, a volt reading of 12 um, volts we know that the entire cell itself has an EMF, an EMF, electromotive force of 13 um, volts. If we apply what we know, right, in terms of, you know, when things are in a series circuit, or this simple equation to say that the EMF is equal to the sum of the potential difference across the the the, 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 the the circuit right that are in series with it if we go ahead and do that it clearly means that emf is going to equal to the voltage across the lamp plus the voltage or we can say the last voltage uh which which is pretty much um, that voltage across the internal resistance we call it um, V VR so that's the voltage across the resistance that's what we're going to call it uh, so by that information we know what the EMF is which is 13 13 volts we know that the lamp has a reading of 12 volts the reason why I know that the lamp has a reading of 12 volts is because whenever you're re you're using a voltmeter right to measure the, the voltage of something you have to connect it in parallel with the component so this is the reason why i connected the voltmeter here so whatsoever voltage is right here and here the same voltage that the the, the 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 voltmeter is going to record so hence I, hence why i know that the lamp that the bulb has is actually 12 plus um v r we want to find what v r is which is the lost voltage or we can say the potential difference across the internal resistor all we would need to do is to just manipulate this equation to say that um, 13 minus 12 is clearly equal to V times R. And from there, we can just simply say, are we, we by, by a calculation, we know that the voltage drop is going to be, or the last voltage is going to be um, 1, 1 volt. All right. Now the next part of the question asks us to calculate the internal resistance of the battery. If I know the potential difference across the internal resistor and I know the current that is flowing through the circuit, so right through the circuit right here, I know the current. That current is 3 amps. So all I would simply need to say is that, let's recall from, Ohm, uh, let's recall from Ohm's law. Ohm's law 
that VR, which is the voltage that passes into our resistor, is equal to I times R. And having said all of this, we know what VR is, that is 1, and we know what the current is. The current, of course, is going to equal to 3 times, and then no, we, know, we don't know the resistance. All we just need to do is to just divide throughout by 3 to make R becomes The subject will be of a value of 0 0.333 ohms and it continues. Now, that's what uh, the internal resistance um, really is, right? Or the whole concept of internal resistance, this is how you would go about finding it. You have to consider the fact that, that the internal resistor is a component that is in series with all the other components. And from that knowledge, you can now, you know, understand that in series circuit, the voltage is divided. So there's going to be some voltage here, and that is a fraction of the EMF, right? Also, there's going to be a voltage here in the internal resistance, which is a fraction of the EMF as well. So if all of these things or a fraction of the EMF, it means that whenever I add the voltage of the internal resistance and the voltage of the, the, the bulb, I should get back what the actual EMF supplied to the entire circuit. All right. So with that being said, if I were to go back and add 12 plus this, this um, loss voltage of one volt, I would realize that I get back everything which is what the EMF really asks us for, right? The EMF supplied 13, so at the end of the day, it should end up back being 13 uh, volts. Unless there are some issues going along the way where there's some other lost voltage, right? This is what it would really be, all right? So this covers the lesson on internal resistance. And it's just a concept that you guys have to know um, in order to be able to can answer other questions um, in the future. All right.